What do you want? Nope. Here for your bike? Hey, how's it going? Okay. Later, Deke. Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Peeking out. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. You I got too close, I almost got caught. Down. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's, it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? Well, not that I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, com was still open before. Don't think of it as, like, being a peeping Tom. It's more like opposition research. Or Brian out. No matter what you call it, I'm the one that's out here risking my life. All clear. All good here. They come. A bunch of ten soldiers marching in a row. Shit. Area's locked down. That's right. You boys go on about your business. Don't mind me. Seems like a lot of freaks around the corner. Yeah. Oh, 
chopper. Are you complaining again? Jesus, this is taking forever. It's not so bad. <laughs> Get close to the oh, here we go. two zero six eight. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, Victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. If you think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware. No, no, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead in human terms. What's that mean? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't you catch your that? name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if you didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that?
Let him in. You send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if you didn't tell him where the seats were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Cool. You? Looks like you've been busy. Deacon, hey. Hey, Damon. How's the gun trade going? Man, you've been doing so much for the camp. Go ask me to find you some extra bike parts and shit. Hey, Manny. Down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. We'll get a chance to tell his side. That's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Dink. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Deer crossing. Well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? Booster, you there? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Same as always. Still out there chasing choppers. Check the man. Ah! Ah! Look out! Yeah. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Here we go. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. <laughs> Good. Come on out! He's not gonna move! Get him! Finally. Jesus. Can use this. Deacon, you there? Another job came up. Ricky, yeah, um, okay. I'll stop by. St. John out. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road.
Deke. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. What do you want? Nope. Uh, hello. Where? Uh, good choice. Good one. Okay. Now that's an upgrade. Hmm, that should work. Okay. Okay. Hey, see ya. Hey, man. Hello. Ah, got it. You need something? Hey, how's it going? Uh, check back later, I guess. Later. Deke, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but, uh, I've seen them around. What's, what's, what's going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Here for your bike? Hey, how's life? Tell me. Before everything went to hell, the girls' family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Deacon out. Okay, the girls went fishing. Oh, shit. Marauders, Jesus.
Got it. You gotta stop moving sometime. Sit still, you son of a bitch! That did it. <laughs> Abby, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not here to hurt you. Ricky sent me. They killed my sister. They killed Abigail. No, oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on, come on, with me. No, no! No, I can make it myself. I can. Okay, go, go. Need scrap.
Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a head scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know. Should look for fuel. Oh, here we go. Ricky, I found her alive. Deacon, thank God. Look, she wouldn't come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. All right, okay. Ricky out. Yeah, Mike, I'm here. Ricky told me what you'd done. He said you had me in all my just... Just wanted to thank you. Open up. I've seen her out. Yeah, since she was in diapers. Sure, Mike, yeah. I, uh, just wish that I could have gotten to Abigail on time. You did what you could, and I'm grateful. See you, Deke. I'm glad you're on our side. Mike out. Can I help you? Deke. Thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. I appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? Sandy. Always good to see you, Dee. Wait a sec, I got it. Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Dee, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. 
I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, see you, Ricky. Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary if we get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Larson, is he there? I don't know, but if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John out. Someone's got a flashlight on. You don't need these. Larson, how are you holding up? St. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you'd have got to tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go. Run.
need fuel. Talk you there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tucker out. Deke. Ada Tucker to Deke in St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? I used to be a cop. Hey, not. Tuck, uh, you got a job for me? Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out. Looking to buy, I hope. Hey, how's life? Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. Later. I'll be here late. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. Let me get the gate. Hey, Boozer. How's it going? Excuse me, I ain't got time to fucking chit-chat. All right, don't work too hard. Oh, I should stop for fuel. Oh, needed this. Hey, 
This is Radio Free Oregon. The it. truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter... I know him. Deacon. Zanny. Bike's a real guzzler. Zanny, I'll be back. Good you're here. What do you need? Okay, just stopping by. Thanks. Good choice. What else can I do for you? Good piece. Should help out in the shit. This will do you good out there. That right there, good piece. Come by if you still need something. All right, I see how it is. Come back whenever you need something. Yeah? Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. You remember Richard Marsden? Used to ride for us. Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden, yeah. I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He did. But, oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. He joined a group of drifters down at the Black Crater, led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Ah, oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how's it going? Sandy. Uh, hold on. I'll get the Ripper camp. Goddamn rippers. Rest of you later. Something's 
out here. Tucker, I'm here. Your man Marsden looks like he's got himself a goddamn army. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. He always seemed like the kind of man who'd attract every dirtbag out in the shit. You want me to send Alki? Uh, no, I got this. Uh, what was he wearing when your men got hit? Same thing he always wore, one of those black coats down to the knees, cowboy hat. Deke, bring me his hat. More holes in it, the better. Okay, so he's dressed like an asshole. Got it, St. John out. <clears throat> oh shit, where'd you boys come from? Mike? A lot of ammo left. Move back! Come on now, buddy. We know you're out there. Why don't you drop your weapons? Come out where we can see you. Not like this, you deserve to die with the prick. Now I got gotcha. you. Gotta find cover. I know him. Open up.
Can I help you? Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. <laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. Then so why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. 